Welcome back and welcome to Exo Dental Dialogue, the webinar. We were so happy to have some 350 participants joining our very first webinar. Many of you as newcomers to our EXO community of practitioners. We were also happy to see a broad representation from across the whole of Europe. And surprisingly also participants from countries as far away as Canada, Australia or the United Arab Emirates. Thank you for joining us. In last month's webinar we talked about the immediate consequence of the Corona crisis, close down of clinics and emergency infection control. Hygiene is in focus even more so than before. As you know, you're always welcome to send us some feedback or questions after or during every webinar. And after the last one, we have picked two which I would like to talk about today. One is from Cis Cecilia Savio from Belgium, and she's asking for more discussions in upcoming webinars on the issue of air purification systems, extra oral mobile vacuum systems, and realistic ventilation of the room between patients after aerosol has been generated. Thank you so much to Belgium. Thank you so much for your input and we will definitely look into that, how to implement that in future webinars. And then another one is from Jürgen Buchreitz. He's from Denmark and he commented that in his opinion, no clinic should have any storage of material inside the treatment room due to the risk of contamination. He even gave us the advice to have only those few instruments mounted on the bridge that you need for specific treatments. This is of course something you can do with the XO unit. It's very easy to attach and detach instruments, but I'm not quite sure how that will work with other manufacturers. But hey, let's look into that. All of your comments are greatly appreciated at XO. We take all your ideas and suggestions into serious consideration. Here's what we will talk about in today's webinar. Finance in the dental clinic number one. Which are the final implications of Corona in the dental clinic? New insights and trends. We will talk about the. We will talk about new insights and trends. I had a chance to interview Dr. Harry Fritz on his special tray system. Then we have something special: the design thinking and the new EXO workshop. It's under development, but we will talk about it anyway. Your feedback and questions, and the upcoming next webinars. New insights and trends. I had the chance to talk to EXO's Vice President on Strategic and Partnerships, Luise Kier, on her recent questionnaire. Let's look into that. Hi, Luise. Thank you so much for taking your time today. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, I know that you have been quite busy these days, taking track on global trends in response to the Corona crisis. And for instance, you are in the process of setting up new partnerships with research institutions. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we've begun studying this issue of corona, uh, or sorry, of aerosol contamination much more in depth, jointly with also scientific experts from universities in Denmark and Norway, and of course with the aim uh, to come up with improved coping strategies and solutions. So primarily we have been inspired by a Finnish study, uh, one dating back from 2006 actually, and uh, it's available also online under the title Bacterial Aerosol in Dental Practice. Um, I think you will have a link to that. The study has tested the spreading of aerosols in treatment rooms where high-speed rotating instruments were used. And it has made a comparison between contamination close to the facial mask of personnel versus contamination in the most remote part of the treatment room. And the conclusion quite clearly states that the spread of aerosols in, is everywhere in the treatment room. And this is somewhat contrary to what we've been thinking before the corona crisis shed light on this issue. We thought it was all concentrated around the actual treatment, but, but this is not what the study shows us. So we will look forward to keeping you updated on, on some of these new initiatives under discussion and development with our new partners within the scientific research institutions. It th exactly. I think that's very what people are needed at the moment. And for me especially, it's very interesting because I think that clinics and dental practices thought about the aerosol spread around one meter around the head of the patient exactly. instead of the entire, let's say, clinic or room. So I think that's very relevant for all the clinic owners these days to find out a way where to clean and how to keep every, exactly. keep track on it, probably. Yeah. Exactly. And then also I know that you have um, been very busy with um, conducting on a board survey among 
EXO International Dentistry Advisory Board. So the key opinion leaders from all over Europe to the US, even to Singapore. And can you tell us a little bit about what is the nature of the questionnaire and what we have been getting back as a feedback or response we received? Yes, we have this quite extraordinary advisory board, but also firstly for, for the past two months we have we have broadly at EXO been following global trends, uh, industry data and online discussions of various sorts within the dental field. And of course this is, the corona crisis has uh, been on everybody's mind and there's quite some interesting discussions going on. And on the basis of all this research we have asked our trusted advisors about their viewpoints and um, uh, on changes after the corona crisis, primarily in terms of, of the financial implications and also on technical aspects. So maybe I'd like to highlight three main conclusions from our survey. Um, firstly, in terms of financials, uh, hygiene is of course the new game changer due to the extra time that is required for, for the increased cleaning procedures. And all the respondents talk about between 10 and 20 percent extra expected time increase uh, spent on, on the clinic assistants uh, doing extra disinfection procedures between patients. Um, it's not surprising, but it's, it's nonetheless quite a high number uh, in my view. Um, and this is not because of, of uh, expected more harsh, harsh regulatory requir requirements. Uh, on the contrary, Everybody talk about uh, comprehensive rules already being in existence and up, being up to date in all countries. But what is more important is that uh, it's rather the expectation that there will be much more focus on actually comp complying with these rules. Not as if we have not always been um, abiding to, to strict uh, hygiene rules, but this whole emergency inspired performance is something that is perhaps here to stay. So we will be giving a lot more uh, attention to hygiene. Okay. That was the, the main point, of course. And then uh, secondly, the respondents unanimously agreed that there will be financial uh, implications uh, due to this, uh, losing time on performing extra cleaning procedures as it were. And as an example of anticipated uh, coping strategies that that is what we asked for. Uh, how are you going to actually cope with the financial expected losses? And people are responding that coping strategies will be either longer working hours or weakening weekend openings, hiring of more staff, for instance, on um, uh, additional cleaning assist assistance to maintain high uh, turnaround between patients or to avoid losing of time that is extra personnel who will simply be outside the treatment room doing all the or preparing everything. And some respondents uh, simply anticipate lesser earnings and other will, of course, look at uh, increasing uh, prices. So yeah. these are the different, yeah, these are the, the different um, replies to that kind of or those questions. And finally, uh, among uh, different suggestions of other coping strategies, many of course talk of um, improved asepsis or lesser contamination in the treatment room because that would require lesser cleaning. Um, for instance, there are suggestion on, um, suggestions on refurbishing of the interior and having only a minimum of materials inside the treatment room by saving time on cleaning procedures and maintaining this high turnaround patients. So these are the main conclusions. Well, I think that's very, very interesting and very good that we have received so fast so much yeah. feedback. Yeah, it, it really seems that people are, I mean, as you said that, uh, for example, the, the cleaning situation, it's not that everyone has not never done it correctly, but oh, it's no. more like, okay, now we have a really, really big reminder of, okay, we have to step up the game and make it even better, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's thank you so much for sharing all those details. Oh, Lisa. So I'm looking more. we're all looking forward to all the new news and feedbacks we receive in the near future. You will certainly. Thank you so much. Bye. Wow, that was fantastic input from Louisa, and I'm very interested in the future collaborations. Talking about clinic design, cross-contamination, and efficiency within the tray system. 
I had the chance to visit Dr. Harry Fritz from Lübeck, Germany, who has a long-standing experience from working with advanced tray systems and treatment rooms and central storage of tools outside the treatment room. I'm looking forward to show you how he operates and I believe this is of high interest taking the current time into consideration. You can probably implement adjustments to your needs as well. Let's have a look. Hi Harry, thank you so much for welcoming me here in your beautiful clinic in Lübeck. Would you mind to introduce yourself to all our viewers today and explain what is different of your working way? Hello, my name is Harry Fritz. I'm working since 20 years here in this picturesque Lübeck here. And I want, you to, invite, I want to invite you here to a little journey in my praxis and to show you how I work by myself, working solo and the tray system I need to, to produce a high quality in my dental treatment. The main goal for using a tray system is here that I have a high standard for the preparation for the treatment room and absolutely independent of the, of the daily shape of a worker or of our assistant here, which means everything has a high standard of, um, of preparation. And I show you my tray storage. This is a, the drawers here. Even it's for icon, for preparation for bridging crowns, going for fillings or doing endodontics. And this is a tray, and I have several trays for here endodontics, and it's a tray including all the stuff you need for the treatment, which means you have this burr set, you have the, the instruments, and you need a system rack for the root canal instruments. So, and I use only uh, single use needles for the root canal treatment here. So, we are now in your treatment room. Everything looks so clean and the surfaces are clean and shiny and everything. So how would you work with your tray system in here and how does the unit fit in all of that? Okay, I'll show you here. We have two trays. One, the first one here is a pretty normal examination tray. Uh, with the mirrors and this. So, and this is here, for example, here for fillings. Uh, working um, solo, I'm using an Optrack 8 in almost every case. So, and uh, working here with the XO unit here is a pretty easy thing to do. But the most important thing is here, if the uh, my the reach is too far away, there's a little tiny gimmick. I can move the whole treatment unit to, towards me and so I have a really an ergonomic way to work. And when you're done with the treatment, what will happen next? So, if we finish the, the treatment here and we tidy up, so just close the trace back, bring it to the service room and cleaning here the surface and disinfect it. So the full changing time is completely limited to all the necessary parts. Absolutely. Perfect. So, now you're done with the treatment, what happens next? So, let's go to the sterilization zone and uh, we start to pose, dispose the waste here to this waste paper basket. We have the, uh, the thermo disinfector. We have the machine for doing uh, the instruments. After disinfection, we turn over and we go for the sterilization, which is in here. After the sterilization, we put it into the, in the green zone, which means here we have to uh, repair the uh, theme trays again. So that means that the preparation of the theme tray is over here in the clean and the green room. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right here. So um, to prepare 
a tray, um, we have these kind of boxes where all the new things or the new things are prepared. So it's, uh, it's not a time-wasting um, work to fill up this set again. And is that the full storage of your clinic or is there a different room for the storage? Because we haven't seen anything in the treatment room, but I guess somewhere you have to store something. Of course, we have a spare room here, a spare storage here for cotton rolls, here for impression materials and all this disinfection stuff. But most of the items are stored in here. Have a look in our drawers. So this is here our the common things here we use every single day. Even the anesthesia. Or the things for endodontics or the materials here for cementation. Fantastic. And look at it in here. So we have lots of boxes prepared, polishing discs. We have here the box with different screwdrivers for different implant systems. So that means that everything pretty much is in that storage slash sterilization room. So there's no long ways for everyone to walk no. around and find something. This is everything is really tidy up which means uh, less time loss of uh, looking around where might be something. There's one place for the things you need here. This is our pharmacy. This is here our storage here for the implant materials. And if we go here, another rack here for, here for impression. So if we have an impression, if you are not doing a uh, digital one, so there's only one impression fixing machine here for the, for the whole process. For the full clinic, everything yeah. is just in here. Yeah. Wow. Right. So in order to prepare an impression, you just go in here, prepare everything and then bring it to the treatment room. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Very time efficient. Yes. <laughs> I can give you one take home message here. Um, if you work, if you start working with a tray system, you will never leave it. You will never miss it here. And if you think the cost for a tray system is enormous, that's not right here. Okay, you, you need some, some uh, steel trays and maybe five up to 10% of more instruments here. Just start and you will never give it away. That is so great. So that's very motivating for all our viewers today. They can just start and go for it and have so much import now from your clinic, your wonderful clinic where we have seen that it works easily. You can follow a good hygiene structure. You have all the great storage and that on sm limited small space, let's say. So thank you so much again for welcoming us today. And um, yeah, let's Thanks. meet again soon. <laughs> Well, as you have just seen the optimal use of the tray system at Harry Fritz Clinic in Lübeck, Germany, this is much in line with some of your comments and conclusions also coming out of the survey conducted among XO International Dentistry Advisory Board. Many of you also have sent us suggestions for ways to avoid storing of unnecessary materials and equipment inside the treatment room. And as I said at the beginning of this webinar, we take your feedback from our end users and everyone in our EXO community very seriously. And this is also why we have asked our development team of designers to come up with a very concrete offer. In response to your wishes and proposed ideas of smart refurbishing or optimized interior design of the treatment room. A prototype has now been manufactured and we believe that this will be ready for delivery in September. The EXO worktop is easy to clean, just one stroke over the Corian surface of the work plate. Ergonomically, it provides you full access from every work position. Extensible work plates provides optimal reach for both dentist and dental assistant. Click-on trays may also be mounted underneath, and we believe that the new EXO worktop is very timely response to demand for optimal hygiene and the most efficient cleaning procedures within the treatment rooms. 
As you heard it earlier from our trend analysis, some dentists mentioned the need for longer disinfecting or cleaning breaks after each patient. But in order to treat the same amount of patient, you would either need more treatment rooms or longer working hours. Now, the size of the EXO worktop is designed for optimal use of square meters. And jointly with the unit, it's fitted to take up minimal space, thereby allowing for more treatment rooms within the clinic. Thank you very much for now. Thank you for listening and participating in today's webinar, our conversation about the finance impact of primarily increased hygiene procedures as a consequence of the corona crisis. Remember to sign up for our next webinar, Finances in the Dental Clinic Part 2, where we will talk about efficiency, cost savings, clinic management, and things to consider prior to making new investments. And remember, we are very much welcome your feedback or questions sent to us in advance of the next webinar in June. Reach out to us at info at xo-care.com, sign up for our newsletter, stay in touch and stay healthy, and thanks for joining today.